Hello my friends, in this video we're playing around at the Los Lagos course of the Costa Mesa Golf Club. Well it's actually only the front nine and uh, actually not every single shot because my camera was acting a bit strange, uh, would either stop recording or just wouldn't record at all. But in any case, this was a fantastic round, a great course, an even better company. Also shout out to Danny for hooking us all up with planes. Uh, this was on a much different scale than my usual cans of PBR. Green is dead straight, wide open fairway, let the obese dog eat. <laughs> I'm really happy with that first drive of the day. It leaves me with 233 yards to the flag. Now I opt to use my four hybrid here. I wasn't too confident with the three hybrid then. So I end up a little bit short. Short of the green using my pitching wedge to just bump it up there. But I think the Pliny imbued me with some extra strength because it just goes way too far. Now not an easy birdie putt, but a birdie putt nonetheless. It's a tricky downhill and I just try to get it close. That was unexpectedly close. Now I have to go up the hill for my par. Oh, and look who discovered video transitions. A back to back par 5 to start, another wide open fairway, so tee it up high and let it fly. They say a good drive never goes unpunished, so we can guess this will be a skull or a chunk. And here's the debut of the chunk tracker. Oh boy, I think the chunk tracker will be busy this round. Leave it short twice and now I sail it way, way past the flag. Still not on the green, but I put off the fringe for the par attempt. And it's not even in the same vicinity. Now this is actual two putt territory from here. And yeah. Two putt it is for the double. Next up is hole 3 par 4. It was quite the windy round, so I apologize for the wind noise. After this round, I did get a dead cat from the mic, so hopefully it helps with the wind in future rounds. Now again with my new common miss, pulling shots to the left. I end up in the other fairway, but I managed to get a decent shot to get it just off the green. It's that there. And another one, a chunked putt, ugh, so terrible. Still in good shape though for the par, it should be makeable from here but oh man it just grazes the left edge of the cup so I'll have to take a bogey, putting me up to plus 3 over the first 3 holes. Yeah, I'm just going to use every single video transition on here. <laughs> Ace Cam is live for the part 3, but nope, it's just the chunk tracker again. And again. Now the chip doesn't go where I want it to, and there goes my phone, not being able to record the rest of that hole but I end up making a double. Hey, thanks for the feel good cheering guys. The one thing I vividly remember from this round was that my four hybrid just being absolutely on fire. He's on fire! Wait, ball above, go to the right. It'll go, yeah. No, no, it'll go to the left. Sorry, it'll go left. We gotta aim a little more right Now thank you to Sam, my golf role model, for setting me straight. I always forget where the ball naturally goes if it's above the feet. 
Now I thought that was well struck but just a bit too much because I ended up well past the hole. then that has to be one of the lamest putts yet. And of course I miss that tough downhill putt for par and I take the gimme for an unnecessary bogey. Really disappointed with that one. Now it's hole number 6, par 5, 508 yards. I'm at 6 over for now which I'm feeling pretty good about. Nice, Andy! Woo! Wow! Okay, that's a shot. Aw, oh, shucks, guys. You're making me blush. <laughs> Unfortunately, was only able to get the tee shot for this hole. You know, there's just something about part threes lately that I just can't seem to figure out. I think I've had a miss hit on the last eight or so part threes that I've hit. I'm trying to chip back onto the green after hitting my tee shot way left. I think I was too nervous of the bunker so I end up laying up from about 40 yards. No putting footage here and I end up with a double on this par 3. Missing the tee shot footage for hole number 8. Pretty sure I used my 4 hybrid here and landed it about 70 yards from the flag. Now I'm using my 60 degree lob wedge for my second shot. I landed a bit short on the green leaving me with an uphill putt that breaks to the left. Now, with that putt, I left it well short again. And I am super pumped for this par, the last one being the one I got on the first hole. Now at hole number 9, last hole of the course block here at Costa Mesa, and here comes my 4 hybrid to the rescue again. It somehow goes straight down the middle. So another thing I have to figure out and work on is that a lot of my somewhat full swing wedge shots pushes to the right all the time. I really gotta work on that or else I won't be able to get those green in regulations. Really annoyed that I hit it so hard on what just needed to be a little bump with my pitching wedge. And here I am just going back and forth playing Pong all by myself, a very very frustrating. So I end hole 9 with a double. Now since my camera kept acting up, I just ditched filming on the back 9. So on the front 9, I go 11 over. And on the back 9, things start to look up. I get a mini par train going on holes 15, 16, and 17. That allows me to go just 7 over. Leaving me with an 89 for the round. I break 90 again. I had back to back sub 90 rounds really excited for that. Now I'm still very much in the high handicap range because these two rounds have been quite the anomaly but I hope to keep progressing. Now if you've made it all the way here thanks for watching. A What's in the Bag is coming up as well as more course vlogs one of them being the famous Wilson and Harding golf course in Los Angeles.